Hey guys and welcome back to FedEx Gaming and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 map because so many people have asked me to build the other maps after I did the first one. Now if you've noticed right here I do have a pretty large bathroom on the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 map even though they never show it. I just thought I would add that in because I really liked it a lot. Now this one's definitely going to take a lot lot longer than the first one because it's much bigger and has a few more bigger props in it as well. However let's just jump right down into it right here. So obviously right here is where as our security guard is going to be sitting. And he could flash the light on right here as the lights see the lights come on and off right there it's very nice and easy to do and then right here we have our lights for our vents i'm going to try to speed right through this because this guys this tutorial is a very very long tutorial so here's the main little room where our security guard will be going and then right here i put foxy because i actually didn't know where to put him so i just decided to put him right here so he's jumping or you know he's getting ready to go at you then over here are the four different party rooms nothing really special is going on in here except for the one that has the caution wet floor sign and they both have the areas with the vents in them that hook up to over here i also have all the cameras in the exact areas where they're supposed to be so here's all the other party rooms right here and right here and if you're wondering about the ceiling like i said in the first one you can always add in your own ceiling here is the service and maintenance area with the bonnie that has that cut off face and then over here you can always add in something else you can put maybe golden freddy over here or maybe have that one freddy guy that's always laying down looking up at you sometimes so let's go out of here now like i said they don't have the bathrooms they don't show the bathrooms in five nights at freddy's too but this is the girl's bathroom and this is the boy's bathroom so let's just go ahead and look at the bathrooms real quick as you see i pretty much copied the one from five nights at freddy's one but i added like a, a few extra things to them but like i said they didn't have any bathrooms in five nights at freddy's too so i decided to just add in my own then right here is the nice little main hallway that goes into the main room over here where we have all our toy guides up in the front we have our toy bonnie our toy freddy and our toy chico along with the camera and then we have all our nice little tables with our toy hats on top of them we have our merry-go-round with our foxy bonnie freddy and chica on our merry-go-round over here we have balloon boy i know balloon boy looks stupid trust me you can change these guys out whichever way you want to i just did my own stupid little versions of them so here's balloon boy with his balloon sign and the nice little table there's supposed to be two tables here but this merry-go-round i wanted in a really badly guys i really wanted to get a nice merry-go-round in here so i sacrificed one of the tables over here over here is the prize area which has our marionette where you can get a prize and then we have the camera right here as well fixed in onto the marionette and all that good stuff now if you want to add a front door to this place i highly recommend putting the front door right here if you're going to make a building out of it because right here is the main entrance you know this is where everything is so i'm only assuming this is where the doors would be to come into this area then right over here is kid cove which has our camera our table a few presents and then i decided to add mangle in here as well i'm pretty sure mangle would probably be in the service and maintenance area in that back room where you can't see her but i decided to put her here because i wanted something to go on over here in kid cove but all the redstones right over here you know we just have some working lights like this and then we have our lights over here for our vent system but there you guys have it that is the whole entire five nights at freddy's 2 map so let's get into building this thing because like i said this thing's probably gonna take like three or four parts to do it's a very very extremely big build guys so let's get to this thing all right guys so for this build we're going to need a 53 by 49 spacing and like i said at the beginning of the video you don't have to add the bathroom since technically you never see the bathroom inside the game so if you want to scratch it off you can go ahead and do it however if you want to make an entire building out of this then i highly recommend doing the bathroom because it will look great inside the build now we're going to be starting at the bottom left as you can see i have two little yellow lines right down there at the bottom left hand corner and from each yellow line from the side yellow line all the way over to the other one is 11 blocks exactly if you count out 11 and that's where we're going to be starting at the main room right there with the vents all right guys so once you've gotten your 53 by 49 spacing i want you to come to the bottom left hand corner of your 53 by 49 spacing and as you see i put a little sign right here so i wouldn't forget and we're going to count over 11 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and right here is where we're going to be starting this is a little area of course where the security guard is where you know you shine the light on the animatronics and all that good stuff all right guys so for this section we're going to need a 14 by 10 spacing and just like my five nights at freddy's one map the floor is pretty much going to be the same all the way through this entire build it's just going to be a nice checkered pattern throughout this whole entire build so once you've gotten your 14 by 10 space mapped out what i want you to do is take out your blocks to make your checker pattern i'm going to be using white stained clay and black stained clay if you want to you can use black wool or white wool you don't have to ask me guys it's minecraft do whatever you like you can do whatever you want with this build but i'm going to be using white stained clay and black stained clay so i want you to come to the bottom left hand corner of your 14 by 10 spacing and we're going to go ahead and make a nice little checker pattern right here and i'm probably going to do 
like what I did in my Five Nights at Freddy's 1 map and just skip the flooring. But for the first flooring, we'll do that together. So what I want you to do is just make a nice little checker pattern. So I'm going to go like this with all my white stained clay all the way down. And we're just going to do this all the way through this entire area. It's going to be very tedious, I know, but this whole entire thing is a black and white floor. Now, I know a few people in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, you know, had said about, like, you know, the different colored floors and things like that. If I do make a mistake with the colors of the floors, now, I went off a bunch of pictures for Five Nights at Freddy's 2, and literally the whole floor was black and white for me. I checked every single one, and they were all black and white. Now, if they are a different color anywhere and you feel it's a different color, then just change the color. You don't have to tell me in the comment section below, because literally I'm just not going to care. But if you want to, it's Minecraft. You could change it to whatever color you you like so now what we're gonna do is just add our black stained clay and if you want to like i said you can use wool if you want to i know if you are playing on survival and you are trying to build this on survival wool is probably definitely the way to go and not using stained clay since right now we don't have any stained clay biomes on the console if you are building this on the pc then you know you have clay stained biomes you can go ahead and use this so let's just finish up this flooring right here so i can stop talking while I'm making this whole floor this is why i like skipping the floors so there we go we got our entire floor in our next step is our walling now i'm going to be using light gray stained clay lime stained clay and blue stained clay for our walling since on this map on five nights at freddy's 2 instead of the checkered powder being on the wall being black and white it is now blue and green so to start things off on the wall, what I want you to do is just take out your light gray stained clay and just wrap this around one time like this all the way around. Don't put it near the vents or anything like that. We're just going to wrap it around this whole entire area. Once you have wrapped it around this entire area, go ahead and take out your blue and green stained clay. If you want to use wool, go right ahead and let's just start right over here. We're going to start right over here and we're just going to skip every block. You know what? Let's go like this. We'll skip every block like this. You don't have to put anything in this corner right here. So just skip it. Make sure it looks like this from the inside. And we're going to go all the way around like this with colors. Like I said, skip these corners right here. You don't have to do them. So I got my first layer of colors in, so now we only have to do this one more time. So just come over here, and instead of putting blue here, we're going to go in now and put green and just do this all the way around, guys, once more. Now, the one thing very distinguishable about Five Nights at Freddy's 2 map and Five Nights at Freddy's 1 map is the height of the rooms. And now the room over there, which I believe is the party room with the stage, is a lot bigger than the other rooms. Like the height wise going up to the ceiling is a lot bigger. So if you want to change some of the heights with these rooms, you can go right ahead. Now for the first room, what I did was I just went with a one layer like this, but then I am going to change a few heights of the other rooms just since just because of if you look at the cameras when you're looking at the cameras of the game you can kind of see that there is a bit of a height difference with uh the one camera over there in the party room i'm pretty sure that might be the only one that's higher but we'll see when we go throughout this whole thing when we're building but we're going to put another little light gray stained clay clip around it like that and that should be our whole entire room for our security guard now that we got the whole room done for our security guard, we can go ahead and put some of our props in. Now, it's very noticeable in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 that the table does not line up perfectly with the door. You know, it's not extremely even to the door. It's a little bit more to the right, and there's a little bit more leg room over here to the left. Now, if you want to change that and put it straight on with the door, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm going to try to keep it as close as possible to the actual game itself. So what I want you to do is come over here to the bottom left-hand corner, and we're just going to count over six blocks. So one two three four five six and then we're gonna count up three blocks one two three and right here we're gonna go ahead and put a fence post like that and then we're gonna put one more fence post up in front of it like so and then we're gonna count over three blocks so one two three right over here and put another fence post see how this one comes off to the side of the wall one and then comes in from the wall one right here so it does not line up perfectly with that entrance and, and that's what it looks like on five nights at freddy's 2. so once you've gotten your table in right here there should be a two gap in between both of your fence posts we're gonna go ahead and take out string and we're gonna put string right down here now the reason why i'm using string here is one of my subscribers from my last five nights at freddy's video brought this up because i used carpet the last time and you know i didn't even think about that and you know what string does look a lot better with this next we're gonna go ahead and do is take out our brown carpet and we're going to put that right along this table like this now if you want to add a fan in or something like that you can go ahead and do that but what we're going to do next is put in our chair for our security guard so just like five nights at freddy's one map if you have seen it we're going to be doing the same thing there we're just going to break out this block right here and we're going to put an ender portal frame down here or you can use an enchantment table it doesn't really matter and then we're going to put a block right above 
or ender portal frame put a rail on top of it a minecart on top of the rail and then delete this block and our minecarts have fall down perfectly now we won't be able to move our minecart out of this area anymore you see nothing is moving next what i want you to do is put a piece of stair it doesn't really matter what color you use i'm going to be using netherrack and we're going to put a netherrack stair like this right next to our minecart then we're going to put a piston right next to our netherrack stair like this and now all we have to do is just send power to this piston thus updating it so we're just going to put a redstone block right here and it will push our chair in like so and there's going to be our little seat for our security guards so as you see we could sit right here and we can flashlight the animatronics and things like that next what we're going to do is add in our tv props now this is completely up to you all i did was i just went one two three like this with black stained clay and i did the same thing on this side one two three with black stained clay and then i just put item frames along all the fronts of them like so and then we're going to take out pane glass and we're going to put pane glass inside of here so it looks like a tv frames like this and then if you want to you can also use levers where's the levers there they are to look like antennas coming out of the top of the tv so i just you know put oh i don't want it to go like that i went like this and i put a little lever like that and then you can you know switch them whichever way you want obviously you can't have both of them but if you want to you could put them on the sides like this but then it kind of looks a little weird so there's our nice little easy tv props Next, what we're going to do is the lights for the vents. Now, this is extremely easy. All we have to do is just put a button right above each vent like this, and then just put a redstone lamp on the other side. It is that easy, guys. And then we'll get over to the vents later on. See, the light just came on right there. You see that lights up right there. Beautiful. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Just put a redstone lamp on the other side of the button right here. And we'll get to the vents once we work our way over to the separate party rooms over here. Next, what we're going to be doing is the hallway. Now, the hallway is a 24 by eight spacing all the way down to that little area right there. So I'm just gonna come right over here and say it one more time. It is a 24 by eight spacing. So what we're gonna start off by doing first is obviously the checker pattern coming over here from the door. As you see, it kind of sinks in one right here and then goes out over here. So just make sure you get that whole little sink in motion right here because it does look like that in Five Nights at Freddy's too. So starting off one of these blocks, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and do our checkered pattern on this floor and i'm just gonna skip ahead now because you guys should know what to do because it just takes forever to put this checkered pattern in so once you've got in your floor in for your hallway now we're going to take out our light gray stained clay and we're just going to wrap this all the way around it like so do 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 just follow this little area and these little green areas is just where our doors are going to be for our party room so i'm just going to go ahead and go around this whole little tiny area Oops, i did not want to do that there we go with our light gray stained clay bring that all the way down all right, guys, so once you've gotten your first line of gray stained clay in, now what we're going to do is the walling. So it's very easy. All you have to do is start off from either one of these sides. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to do the first line around with you, and then obviously you can do the second line by yourself. So starting from this side, we're going to go ahead and put green right here because that matches that color. Then we're going to go blue, green, blue, green. Now when you come over to here to one of these doorways, all I like to do is just follow the thing right across like that and then just delete these two like so, and then just keep following the pattern all the way down. And then we're going to reach another doorway right here, and we're going to do the same exact thing just follow it right over delete these two right here and go all the way around the entire lip make sure not to do the corners then we're just going to follow right along the top of this door like we did with all the other doors just keep interchanging your colors all the way down i have nothing to say because literally i'm just talking just so i have enough time to reach the end over here delete these two go ahead and put in the colors all the way around and they should match up perfectly so now all we have to do is just add another line right above it and i'm pretty sure you guys could do this on your own once you've gotten your second layer in what i want you to do is take out your gray stained clay once again and then just bring this right along the entire top and that should be your entire hallway complete now if you want to you can add a few of your own different props inside this room what i did was i just went over here and i put a little stack of tvs like i did inside that room just to give it something in here since there i don't think there really is anything in here but I'm going to go ahead and just go like this and throw a few more TVs in right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take out a lever. And then you can go ahead and put an antenna on one of these TVs. Uh, you know, let's just put it on both of them. There we go. <laughs> so there's some like nice little TV props just to lighten up the hallway a little bit better. All right, guys. So next, what we're going to be doing is our party rooms. Now, all four party rooms are the exact same size. However, I decided to change something up just because I thought inside my head that the props aren't going to fit right. Now, the party room size is a 14 by 8 space every single one of these party rooms are a 14 by 8 spacing coming from our nice little doorways that we put in from the hallway now i'm going to be doing a slight change we're going to be turning this 14 by 8 spacing into a 14 
by nine spacing. Now this is going to be very easy to do since we have the room to do it. So what I want you to do is come right above. We're going to come to this bottom right hand party room right here. And we're just going to go ahead and delete this. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this line. You technically don't have to delete this line, but if you are following my tutorial perfectly, then we're just going to go ahead and delete that line and turn this into a 14 by nine spacing. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because if we have two tables in there, then one of the tables aren't going to fit right inside this room. So we have to make it an odd number. I want to keep everything even, but we're going to need an odd number here. So we're going to move that line up right there. And we're going to do that the same thing to all our party rooms. We're just going to move them up one more. So make them all a 14 by nine spacing and they're all 14 by nine spacing off the wall. Do not count it like this. Don't go like this. One, two, three, four, make sure you count it from the wall. So it should be one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way down to 14. So we're going to do that with every single party room. Just extend it out one more 14 by nine spacing. And last but not least, our last party room, we're going to turn this one into a 14 by nine spacing as well. Now that we have made our party rooms a 14 by nine spacing, you have noticed that the doors don't line up. You can keep them the double wide doors like this. It will still look absolutely fine. However, if you wanted to keep it even and nice and nothing being out of order in this build, all you have to do is change your doorways into a one spacing. To do that, it's very easy. You know, just bring it out like this and come out with an extra color like that. However, I'm gonna keep all mine still too wide because I just feel like it's more open and inviting like that, even though you are playing on Five Nights at Freddy's too, so it's it's not really supposed to be opening and inviting. So once you've gotten your 14 by nine space, we're gonna go ahead and just follow along with our checker pattern from our doorway. So go ahead and take out your checker pattern and just bring it all the way around. So once you've gotten your entire floor, now what we're gonna do is take out our light gray stained clay and bring this around the lip one time. Once you've gotten your light gray stain clay and go in and take out your green and your blue and then just do the same exact pattern all the way around. You can choose whichever side you really want to. If you're going to start from this side, remember you can't put a green one here or see it won't look right. So make sure you come off with a blue one and a green one like that just to make that nice pattern. And we're going to do the first one together and then the second one you guys could do by yourself because all you have to do is just follow the pattern right above it. So we're just going to follow a nice little checkerboard pattern all the way around our entire wall like so. And we are rearing up at the end right now. Beautiful. And then we're just going to do it one more time around, guys. Once you've gotten your pattern in, take out your light gray stay clay one more time and just wrap this along the top of it to conceal everything. Once your walls are done, we can now add our props. So what I want you to do is come over here to the bottom side where our vent system is going to be. And we're just going to come out from the wall one and put two fence posts like this, skip a block and put two fence posts like that. And that's why I widen it up one more just so these tables can fit in nicely. And then right between both fence posts are going to be five blocks to the next fe fence post. So one, two, three, four, five, and then skip one right here. As you see, there's five blocks in between them. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to put another fence post like that. Same thing right here. Next, we're going to do the tops of our table. So go ahead and take out your string and just put string down in between all of these blocks on both sides of the table, like so. Once you got that, now you can take out your white carpet and your pink carpet. Now you can use magenta carpet, purple carpet. I really don't remember the color too much since it's too dark to see it, but I went with pink carpet. You can choose whatever colors you want. However, this one does have a stripe pattern. So we're gonna have a white carpet like this. And then right in between them, we're gonna have pink carpet, magenta or purple, whichever ones you wanna pick, but I decided to go with pink. And we can go ahead and change it up a little bit right here, just so they don't look the same on both sides. But if you are a neat freak or OCD problem, then you're probably going to have them the same color. So there we go, there's our nice tables. Once you've gotten your tables in, what I want you to do is go to the bottom left-hand corner and right here of the top corner, we're gonna go ahead and put an iron bar in like that and then put a netherrack slab upside down like so and that's going to be for our camera. You can make your camera whatever you want. If you wanna go ahead and put a black wool with a little lens like a TV, go ahead and do that. But that's what I like to use for my cameras. And last but not least, all we have to do is just put in our puddle and our caution sign. So if you wanna make your puddle whatever you want, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be using cyan carpet, a yellow stained clay block and a sign. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go like this real quick. We're just gonna make a nice stupid little puddle like this. It doesn't really matter. And in front of it, we're going to have to get rid of it just so we can put our caution sign in. So you know what, let's make our puddle go a little bit more like that. There we go. We want to make it a little big and then I'm going to go ahead and put a sign right here on here and we're going to go ahead and put caution up top. So go ahead inside of it and we're going to spell out caution in all capital letters. So C A U T I O N caution press start and done. And then what we're going to do is skip one underneath it. And if you want to try to make something right here, you can, but I just skip one and then we're going to go ahead and put in wet floor, not all capitals. So wet 
and then underneath that we're going to put floor And there is our caution wet floor sign with our nice little puddle inside our first party room. Now guys, just giving a heads up now, all the party rooms are going to be the exact same with the tables, with the same checkerboard pattern, except for the caution sign, obviously. But I will do the props, but what I'm gonna do is speed it up here, guys, because like I said, every single party room is exactly the same. So the next party room is gonna go right up here. If you wanna know how to start off the next party room, just follow the door. If you didn't do the doors, then all you have to do is just skip over two blocks from the other party room. So we're gonna do the one right above it, and I'm just gonna skip it until the entire party room is done right here. But if you don't remember, it is a 14 by nine spacing. All right, guys, so what you've got in this party room done, now what we have to do is just set up the props. So we're gonna do the same exact table size we did in here. So just come over here to the back, skip out of one block and put two fence posts in like that and skip a block and put another two and then skip five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then put a fence post here. As you see, it lines up perfectly with these other tables out there as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and take out our string and put our string all the way along the bottom area just so we can place the carpets down for our tables. And this table is gonna be very easy. All we're gonna use is white carpet for the entire table like so once you've gotten your tables in come over here to this bottom corner just like we did over here with the camera we're gonna go ahead and put another bar right down there and then put a slab upside down to make our inside camera for this area now if you want to you can add some wires I don't know what you could use for wires maybe some more bars like this and you can also put an animatronic in here if you want and this table right here is supposed to have presents and balloons on it but obviously you know things are way too big in this game so putting presents and balloons on the table looks a little weird but what I like to do on this table is I do like to add a few you little tiny presents well you can't really say they're presents well tiny you could say they're presents but you can't say they're really tiny so you can choose whatever color you'd like and write it over here i just go ahead and i chuck in three different colors like this and then i like to use one more color on top so let's go ahead and just use yellow there we go so this could be a little few little presents right here and obviously if you put the presents back here then the balloons aren't going to fit or you can get rid of the presents and put the balloons but there you guys have it there is another room completely done Next, we're gonna do another party room. And just like all the other party rooms, it's going to be a 14 by nine spacing. Now I'm gonna skip through it really fast and then we'll add the props in last. Here is another party room completely done. It's the same as all the other party rooms, guys. All we have to do is go to the back, come out one away from the wall, put two fence posts in, skip five blocks, one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna put two more fence posts like that and then put string right down here. This one's also going to be white as well there is supposed to be party hats on top of these ones but obviously like i said it's kind of hard to use blocks in as party hats for this stuff if you want to you could put interchanging blocks in between to act like party hats i'll show you that in a second so we're going to go ahead and make two white tables like we did over there now like i said if you want to make different colored interchanging party hats you know just take out different colors like this and then if you want to just put like a block here and then maybe a block here and then maybe a block like that and that could be like interchanging party hats i know they don't look like hats but that's about the best i could do so uh you know let's, let's use a i want to use red there we go let's use red and let's use green so we're going to do a few more right here so we're just going to go like this and add a few more party hats in here i know like i said it does not look the best with these blocks like that but if you want something on these tables to give it some sort of definition then there you go there's some party hats on top of the tables and then over in this corner we're going to go ahead and put another camera right up here now before we move on to this last room over here we're going to go over ahead we're going to now, before we move on to this last party room over here, we're going to go ahead and tackle these vent systems. Since now that we got both of these party rooms done, we can now do our vent systems. So how I did this vent system is I came out three from the wall. So one, two, three, and that's where the vent system starts. And on the inside over here, I also came out three from the wall. One, two, three, and that's where your vent system is gonna be. You know, click the light and all that stuff. So for the vent systems, all I did was just take out my black stained clay and I filled along the whole entire wall with black stained clay because you really won't be able to see in here unless you're gonna make it too high to let people walk through it. But I really don't see the point of that since it is a vent system. And then for the flooring, what I used was stone. You can use whatever you like. Just make sure it's like a grayish color or just a dark grayish color but i thought stone looked really good so we're going to go ahead and put stone all the way down throughout our entire vent system and then just cover the top of it with black stained clay or really whatever color you you really want to use so there we go that's our entire vent system so if i click this button boop, 
our vent system lights up beautiful and we're gonna do the same thing on this side it's the exact same thing come out three from the wall one two three and we're gonna lay the bottom area with stone and we're gonna come out three from the wall on the other side as well so just gonna lay this whole area out with stone like this and then just use black stained clay for the wallings and the ceiling and there you guys have it that's both our vent systems completed now it's time to do the last party room as always it's going to be a 14 by 9 spacing so let's go ahead and skip right through this as fast as possible and for our last party room we are going to have white tables once more now this one's supposed to have balloons and party hats but the balloons are kind of hard to do so i'm probably just going to do the same thing like i did over here with the party hats so we're just going to come down here skip one away from the wall go ahead and put two fence posts two fence posts skip five blocks one two three four five two fence posts two fence posts put down your string all along this area like this put your string down all along this area like so go ahead and take out your white stain your yeah your white, your white carpet and put this all the way down to make your tablecloth like that and we're going to do it one more time right here going all the way along it and now we're going to go ahead and put some party hats on top of this you can put balloons if you want to but then you're gonna have to make your ceilings a lot higher than they need to be so then i'm just going to go ahead and take out this and we're going to put a party hat here let's put a party hat here and a party hat like uh nope that's one too close and a party hat right here and then on this side we're going to go ahead and put yellow uh whatever i'm just going to choose these colors who cares <laughs> pink and blue you can choose whatever colors you want but there you guys go that is our last party room right here and then over in this corner we're going to go ahead and put in our iron bar like that and then put a slab upside down for our camera and that is every single party room completely done the hallway the vent systems and the starting area for your security guard all right guys our next hallway to tackle is the bathroom hallway and also the security and maintenance hallway this little hallway is going to be a 21 by 6 spacing so let's go ahead and start this right up so if you want to start off on your checker pattern just come right down over here to your hallway and we're just going to place in our checker pattern like this hopefully you guys know how to do a checker pattern because i'm going to be skipping ahead uh because this just takes forever to do all right guys so once you've gotten your checkerboard pattern in now we can go ahead and put our walling around now if you don't want to do the bathroom right here's the bathroom if you don't want to you don't have to do it since technically they never show the bathrooms inside of five nights at freddy's too you can put the little doors right here for the bathrooms but you really don't have to do anything on the inside also this door right here is only a one-sided door i decided to put two here just to keep it looking nice but if you also want to make this only one door you can go ahead and do that as well however right now we're just going to go around the whole entire lip with our light gray stained clay like so and if you are are doing it the exact same way i did it just go all the way around the whole inside like that there we go so it should look something like this and now what we're going to do is the same pattern all the way around so just choose any side you really want to so i'm going to be going over from over here so there's green so i gotta put blue and green and then what i'm going to do is just skip ahead like this like that there we go and then delete these two i'm going to do the same exact thing like i did inside the other hallway with any two wide gaps you know just go like this and then just follow it like that it's the easiest way to make sure you're doing it exactly right there we go and then just bring this all the way around like this oops i did not want to do that and then we're going to go like this right across like we did all the other times delete these two and then we're going to go all the way around now you do you're going to need these later on but just get rid of them for now and just make sure you're following the hallway and we'll get to this one later so just do the entire pattern all the way around make sure you're just following that nice little pattern there we go and now we just got to go around it one more time and now this is very easy you don't have to go around the thing just follow these block colors all the way around so we just go like this once you've gotten your pattern in, go ahead and take out your light gray stained clay and bring this all the way around the top, thus capping the entire area. And there you guys have it. That's your security maintenance and bathroom hallway completely done. Now over here is going to be our next area. We're going to be doing the security and maintenance area. But before we jump into that, like I said right here, you're going to come right over here. And we're actually going to add in this right here. And if you want to, you can make it either one door or have it two doors here. I'm going to keep it two door just because I want to keep it even with the outside. However, in the game, it is only one door. So if you want to keep it exactly to the game, you can make it one door. For our security and maintenance area, we're going to need a 10 by 11. 11 spacing it is very easy so let's go ahead and start off on our checkered pattern floor so we're gonna come right down over here as you see there's a little bit cut off in the center right here into a two wide gap it does look like that in the game now in the game it doesn't show what's on this side right here maybe golden freddy's here i don't know who's here but it does sometimes show like a lying down broken freddy and there's usually the bonnie that has his face ripped off right here so we're gonna go ahead and start on our flooring so 
there you go so once you've gotten your checkerboard pattern in now all we have to do is just take our light gray stained clay and go around the entire thing as well as right here so go down this nice little line and put a light gray stained clay got mine going right there and then just bring it all the way around the entire square once you've gotten that in now all we have to do is our walling which is very easy you know just choose whichever side you want so i'm gonna go right from here and we're just gonna put green and blue and then we're gonna make our nice little thing going all the way around it like so so just bring this all the way around make sure to go down this wall as well guys you have to make sure you do this so there we go all the way down this wall and then come back over here and bring it going all the way around this area as well and now we just have to do it one more time which is very easy to do i don't have to tell you what to do here and then last but not least all we have to do is just cap off the area by just taking our light gray stained clay and going right above this entire area like so now all we have to do is put in our prop camera which goes right over here in this corner like that and then you can go ahead and put in a mangled bonnie i'm pretty sure it's like a mangled bonnie or just a broken down bonnie forget its name but you got to put it right here inside this corner when it's not moving like i like to use purple because purple is his color i know he looks blue guys but he is more of a purple color i think the newer bonnie the toy bonnie is more of a blue color but all i did was for this one is i just put a thing like that and i didn't put a face on it or anything because he technically doesn't have a face and then for his ears i used a fence gate so go ahead and take out fence gates where's fence gates again i'm pretty sure it's actually on the first page there they are and then just right here you know just open it up and there you go there's bonnie right there on the floor if you want to add a few more things like maybe if you want to give them arms or something like that like let's go ahead and give them a let's go like that uh no that looks bad like that. <laughs> uh there we go that looks pretty good so there is our nice little bonnie and then over here if you want to you can also put a freddy on the floor that sometime is here but we're just gonna leave it like that all right guys so next what we're gonna be doing is the bathroom like i said you could skip this part because technically they never show what's inside the bathroom however if you do want to do the bathroom you're going to need a 21 by 12 spacing and then right in the middle of your 21 by 12 you're gonna put a line just cutting off the girl and the boys bathrooms so next what we're going to do is just do our checkered pattern flooring all the way around the entire thing but i'm only going to be doing the checkered pattern in this hallway and then we're going to be changing the inside area over here to a nice cyan looking color so come down right over here and right where our checkered pattern is we're just going to follow this checkered pattern all the way around so i'm just going to take it so bring it down all the way to here if you're going to follow me exactly and just bring it right down to this end hallway and do the same thing over here just cap, cap it off at that end hallway right over here it's only gonna be a two wide hallway guys right here only two wide and then we're just gonna take this and bring it down like that because they only show this little inside hallway right here in the game they don't ever show inside the bathroom its actual self so we're gonna go ahead and go like that real quick there we go and now for the actual inside of the bathroom i used cyan stained clay if you want to find something that is wool colored that is the same as cyan stained clay or just use technically whatever you like you go ahead and do that right now but i'm going to be filling in this entire area both areas with cyan stained clay now that we got that and we're going to take out our light gray stained clay and just bring that around the entire area once again like we've been doing with everything so just bring it around this whole area make sure to get the centered area as well and bring this up and along the sides of where our hallways are for our bathrooms like that cutting them off so they do not connect to each other whatsoever because i don't think you want a girls and a boys bathroom connecting into each other that would kind of be wrong so there we go and now all we have to do is just put our wallings in as well so go ahead and pick whatever side of the walling you really want to start from i'm going to start from this side right here and we're just going to bring our pattern going all the way around the entire thing now i'm just giving you guys a heads up now right here at the centered area they're not going to connect up nicely as you can see if i put a block right here it's going to look good on the inside but it's going to look bad on the outside now like i said they never show the bathrooms in the game so what i did was i made it so it looks bad on the inside because don't worry we're going to be putting stalls here so you won't really see this little mess up of the blocks so just giving you guys a little heads up there just do it like that because you will be able to see this outside area and you want this little outside area looking perfect at all times so let's just finish this up area like that and then we just got to put one more row in along the tops once you've gotten all your walls in now you can go ahead and take out your light gray stained clay and just cap everything off like we've been doing this entire time since they do not show what the bathrooms look like in five nights at freddy's 2 i kept it extremely similar to the one i made in five nights at freddy's 1 so inside our bathrooms right here off this wall we're going to be putting our toilets right here and right here so this is going to be the girls bathroom the left side is going to be the girls and the right side is going to be the boys bathroom so we're going to be starting on the girls side first so we're going to go ahead and take out quartz stairs and then we're going to put a quartz stairs upside down like this here here and here just like that those are going to be our toilets and we're going to go ahead and put trap doors on top of each one like that 
Next, what I want you to do is take out slabs. We're going to be using stone slabs, and we're just going to come out two like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, upside down. And then on top of them, we're going to put two rows of green stained clay like this. Like I said, if you want to go ahead and use a uh, wool color, go right ahead. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and take out our wooden doors and we no longer need our trap doors. And we're going to put some doors right here for our stalls. And then what I like to do underneath every single one of my toilets, I like to take out a beacon just to give it a little bit of light. It's not going to give any light at all since that uh, transparent block is going to keep it from giving out light, but it will make it look a little bit cooler by throwing in a beacon like that. There we go. And there's all our stalls on this side completely done. Once you've gotten all your stalls in, we're going to come over here and we're going to put in the mirror. Now, I do use ice here, so if you're going to be using the ice as well, just make sure you don't put any light sources too close or else it's going to melt it. So what I want you to do is just delete out these blocks right here. One, two, three, four, like that. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to take out ice blocks. And we're going to put all ice blocks right here. Then right behind our ice blocks, I want you to take out black stained clay. And then right behind it, we're going to go ahead and put some black stained clay right behind this ice just to make it look nice and dark behind it. Beautiful. There's our mirror. And then right in front of it, we're going to go ahead and take out some cauldrons. I'm going to put a cauldron here and here and put some water in both of them. Once you've gotten your cauldrons in, go ahead and take out a dark gray stained clay and put it like that right here for our mirror for the women's bath. And then last but not least, I like to go right over here and just put a cauldron right here kind of for a trash bin. And then right above it, I like to put like a little hand dryer kind of like one of those like little hand dryer things inside a bathroom. We're going to use hand dryers in here instead of uh, towel rolls. And there you guys have it. That is the women's bathroom completed. And if you also want to, you could take out a slab and put a baby changing station as well right there now for the men's bathroom we're going to be pretty much doing the exact same thing but instead of the baby change station we're going to go ahead and put urinals instead so on this side we're going to just take out our court stairs put them upside down for our toilets put our lids on top of our toilets then we're going to take out our slabs and put two slabs coming out in between each one upside down and you know before we move on to this let's go ahead and do our uh beacons first so i don't have to keep opening and closing the doors to get in there so go ahead and put your beacons underneath there you don't have to do that i just think it looks nice and then take out your dark green stained clay or your wool whatever you're using and then just put it in between for each individual stall like so and then we're going to go ahead and put our doors right here to close off our stalls there we go Next, we're going to do is the mirror, just like the women's station. We're going to come over here to the top right corner, and we're just going to delete these four blocks. One, two, three, four. Put all ice right here, like so. And then in front of the ice, we're going to put two cauldrons with water, and then take out our dark gray stained clay like that. And then right behind our ice, we're going to take out black stained clay just to cover up this area and make it look nice and dark. Then right over here, we can go ahead and put a cauldron and put our little hand dryer thing right here. And then on this side, we're going to put some urinals in. Now, this is going to be a little bit different right here. So to do your urinals, all you have to do is just delete these two blocks like this. And we're going to go ahead and put a block of quartz in like so. And then delete this bottom block right here and put a quartz stair in like that. Then on top of them, we're going to delete these two blocks. And we're going to take out a lever and put the lever facing sideways like this. There we go. And put another lever facing sideways like that. That's just to flush the urinal when you're done. And then right behind it, I like to just keep the color the same. Go ahead and take out your blue stained clay or your green whatever took it out there. And we're going to put some blocks right behind it like that. So there's your urinals right there. And then if you want to, just in case you are a little embarrassed by being at the urinal, you can go ahead and take out a cobblestone wall and put a little cobblestone wall there. So now you don't have to look at the other person going to the bathroom next to you. And there is the guy's bathroom completely done and the women's bathroom completely done as well.